Hi and welcome back to our GCP Mindset channel and all topics on clinical research. Today, we'll talk about the different visits a monitor has to perform. More after the break. Visits are a part of the daily life of clinical monitors and frequent travel cannot be avoided. It is realistic that a monitor in the active phase of a study is traveling two to three times a week or makes eight to 12 monitoring visits. The monitor must visit the sites where the data is generated and documented so it can be checked. He has to be there at the right time to deal with the possible errors. The visits that are carried out before the start of the active study phase are extremely important. The so-called pre-study visits, also abbreviated as PSV or site selection visits, decide with which study centers and investigators the monitor or sponsor will work together. The PSV create the basis for further work with the test center. Without well-prepared and well-thought-out PSV, there may never be monitoring visits because no patients are recruited or the wrong centers are selected. After the PSV, the site initiation visits SIV are carried out. Then monitoring is carried out as part of the monitoring visits MV and a close-out visit COV takes place at the end of the active phase. However, not all possible sites that could fit according to database or internet search will be visited for PSV. At the beginning, a so-called feasibility, feasibility check should be carried out. The so-called feasibility questionnaire should be used to check some facts, such as, what can the trial center do? What does the trial center want? What experience do doctors have with studies? Do they also have experience with the legal requirements that have to be met? And one more thing crucial to the success of the study, do they have the right patients? At the site initiation visit, the main topics are a introduction to study randomization, informed consent, adverse event definitions, serious adverse event reporting, product handling, drug accountability, investigator site folder, IS, and forms, study staff, CV, and delegation log. The SIV should enable the site to take part in the study and give them all study relevant information. At a monitoring visit, the main focus of the CRA goes on site status, drug accountability, informed consent forms, investigator site folder, logs, records, forms, randomization, queries, serious adverse events, and others. At the end of a study, the last visit will be the close-out visit. It is carried out for the collection of unused study products, unused study material, stock lists, final monitoring of the ISF, collection and review of logs, and a review of archiving conditions. So much about the visits today. We will look into each kind of visit more precise in future videos, so stay tuned. We hope that we could give you some interesting information and look forward to see you next time. Goodbye.